Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. First of all, this is Future. Future me here. Um, I'm actually doing the voiceover to the video. So a few things that I want to kind of clarify. First of all, this time my makeup looks like two or three days after like I kept perfecting it. Excuse me. And I kind of like the brighter under eye type of girly. Um, the only thing that I'm still working on is like fixing my nose contour so where it's not so I don't know how to put it like. I don't want to say so nose contoury because that's not a word, but like, so it's not so dark. Um, maybe that's just like the powder that I was using or whatever. But um, I didn't make an intro. I kind of just jumped this way. I think I waved and then boom, here come the primer. So I did want to go ahead and just say, you know, hey, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kayla. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you are notified every time I post a new video. And if you're returning, hey, what's up? But boom, get that out the way. Y'all just finna watch me do my makeup. Um, I definitely feel like the routine is gonna change a little bit. So if it does, again, I'll do another video. Um, a few things did change that I didn't um have in the video, which was my concealer. I did go back yesterday, so I filmed this. This was this. So I filmed this Monday, Tuesday. I went back and got a brighter concealer because I kind of like a brighter under eye, and. You know, this is how it looks or whatever. And I think the only other thing that I added was my blush. And I tried out the one size um setting powder and sweet honey. And I tried the translucent one. Those were not in the video. All of those things were not in there. Um everything else is kind of the same. But like I said, I want to go ahead and do this because some people did ask or have asked in the past, and I never ended up getting around to it to do it. So now I am. But just wanted to give y'all a little intro because when I was trying to do the voiceover, it was going too fast and I wasn't able to jump right into it. So, yeah, I hope y'all enjoy. If you are a makeup artist or if you do makeup or anything like that, if you want to give me some tips, girl, go ahead. Please do. Please do. Like, I I would love it. So, yeah, I hope y'all enjoy the video. Bye. Now we're able to jump straight in, y'all. So the primer that I use is this e.l.f. Power Grip. Um, I use the pink one and the green one, but most times I'll go with the pink one. So I normally always do that one, or I have tried the milk um, primer, which is pretty good, but this is the one I like the most. After we finish that and we're looking like a Krispy Kreme glazed donut, um, I let it dry just so it could get, you know, that grip that I need for it to have. Uh, yeah, I, girl. I normally use my fan. I don't know why I did this. But this is a foundation that I use. I use the Too Faced in color Butter Pecan. And it's actually a really good foundation. It is a little bit on the orange side for me. But when I have gotten my makeup done, most times the makeup artist does use something kind of close to this. Mind y'all, I'm kind of going in here kind of blind. The I had chose my own foundation, but I had got them to help me with like the concealers and everything, which I still went back and got the one that I wanted. But I use a brush to blend everything out. Um, use light motions just so you can get an even, a even set. And yeah. After my foundation, I go in with my concealer from Too Faced as well in the shade Maple. Um, I applied it to my under eyes, my nose. I think it's called Cube Exposed. I, I forgot what it's called. And then my chin area and also my forehead. I think I said my forehead, but yeah. Do you see kind of how I'm laying it out? I saw this method on TikTok and I was like, okay, I'm going to try it. And ever since, it's kind of been doing pretty well. Um... Like I said, there is still always room for improvement. So if you do something different or if you want to give me a tip or a trick you use, go ahead and put it in the comments below. Like, that's fine. Then again, after that, I'm going in with a brush to blend out my concealer. Um, I normally start off with my chin first. And always let your concealer dry a little bit. Like, maybe like... 30 seconds I, I believe 
but this is a brush from Real Techniques. Most of my brushes are from Mor Morphe, Real Techniques, or Elf. Those are somewhat like the only three brands that I really use for my makeup brushes. Um, I definitely would recommend a brush for concealer. I just feel like that makes it look better to me. I haven't tried the Beauty Blender out as much. I did it when I was like first starting, but of course, that could have just been because I was first starting. It's probably why it didn't look as good to me. But I blend out, like I said, my chin, then my cubic bows, then my under eyes. I do my nose and my forehead last. Then I went in with my second concealer. This was a Too Faced brand as well in the shade Honey. Um, like I said, after I did this one, I had went back to Sephora and got a different um, color. But I used the shade Cookie. Um, now, instead of Honey, I use Maple and Cookie together. Um, and I feel like that one kind of looks better. This one looks good. Like, don't get me wrong, I will still use this one. But just for me to get like that look that I was going for, I would say... For my skin tone, maple and cookie to get there. I'm sorry. I had a lot of random outbursts in this video. I'm sorry, but I kept them in there because I was like, hey, you know, they might want to see the real me, I guess. But I was also doing a TikTok as I was doing it. So if you see me like that, licking over to the side, that's what I was doing. I didn't want y'all to think I was just being crazy or something because I had a lot of moments where I was like staring off or something like that. But yeah, I put the concealer in the same spots that I did the first time. And just blended it out as I would for any other concealer. Then I took my cute little pink heart powder puff. I love these so bad. With the um, translucent powder from Morphe. Um, I actually like this powder. I've been using it ever since I've been doing my makeup, but this was me just baking the concealer, um, into my skin or whatever. And I say like translucent powder is good. I like banana too. I feel like that kind of enhance. Well, for me, I feel like that enhances like my under eyes and stuff. So I kind of like using the banana, the banana one most times, but I put that on my under eyes up under my nose as well. And on my chin. I don't know if I did my forehead. I think so. I don't remember. But then I went in with my Juvia's Place bronzing palette with the shade at the top. Also, another thing that I got because of TikTok, I saw this makeup artist and she was like, Juvia's Place, y'all need to restock. Da, da, da. So I went and I got it because I'm like, I want to see what the hype is about. And it's actually a really good palette for um, my contour. I did go a little heavy handed. Like I said, I'm still learning. So I'm learning how to be a little light-handed with certain products be heavy-handed with these i definitely would say i should have been a little bit more light-handed for this one but it's okay it, the look still came out how i would probably want it to come out or whatever i apply that to my cheekbones and my forehead i didn't apply any under my chin i know some people do but i didn't do that one i just did my cheeks and my forehead Then I went in with my blush. I absolutely love this palette. I, again, went back. I think that was the same day I had bought the um, the liquid blush. But I absolutely love those. I definitely think that for me, um, like in the beginning of the video, the blush that I used was the light pink one instead of the hot pink one. And I definitely like that one a little bit more for like a little subtle look. Um, so, yeah, I used the hot pink one in the video. But same thing, light tapping motions. Um... Heavy-handed, not heavy-handed. I feel like I wasn't as heavy-handed with this one. But, you know, hey, I still kind of like that. I had to keep sitting back and looking at myself. Because you know how sometimes when the camera, my camera, I'm still figuring out the settings too. So, my face looked way kind of different than what it actually did in real life. But I took that same bronzing palette and I put the color that I used for my contour on my eyelids as well. So just to, you know, give some type of eyeshadow look. But 
I applied it to both of my eyelids. Um, and I also applied it to my nose to do my nose contour. Like I said, again, on my nose, I'm trying to figure out, you know, what I could do to not make it so strong. Because I know some people don't like that. And I feel like that kind of gives off, like, the makeup look. So for uh, makeup, no makeup, I probably either wouldn't do my nose contour or I wouldn't use a dark shade or try to blend it out a little more. So after that, I go back in with my concealer for my eyebrows. Um, my eyebrows were not done in this video, and I definitely say when you're doing your makeup, it is crucial most times that your eyebrows are done or you know how to do them, like sculpt them or shave them, wax them, anything like that, because it makes the process 10 times easier. But I just go in with this, and I blend it out with a smaller brush um, just to give an illusion. I honestly don't know what this does, but hey, it, it do something because it, it be giving off another effect. But there is a, a real techniques brush again. I'm gonna try and in the description put like the numbers to the brushes, the exact brushes that I use so that y'all know. Then after that, I just go back in with my same bronze and palette and go back over kind of like the where my like closest to my nose is because I kind of only want the concealer to be close towards the end of like the tail end of my brow if you can't tell by now Juvia's Place is one of my favorite um lines to work with or companies I guess you could say so I use this for my lips um most times i'll use a lip pencil but i find this one is kind of easier sometimes because it's already a powder it's easy to blend especially with you know i don't know i just like it for me i like that but i went in with the shade i think i showed y'all which one but it was at the bottom and i lined my lips just how you would with a lip liner you know but just blend it out a little bit just because i don't like a really really harsh line this is the nude that i used i haven't been able to find this anywhere else i'm gonna try to look on like amazon or see if they carry it online somewhere but i've been using this for so long that's really why i, why I don't know where i got it from but i just go in with that and then i also use some more of the matte lipsticks from um nyx and just to kind of enhance my lips, I use those like in the middle, not on the whole lip though. This time I had also used this up under my eye. I definitely say I probably would do like a darker shade, but I just didn't know where my, my liquid liner was at the time. So I used this to just suffice for the end. And then I also didn't have my, um, my mascara so like i said if we reference back to the video like the beginning of the video that's how the full look is like with mascara all the other stuff i didn't do eyeliner just because i feel like eyeliner is more so like if you're doing it'll be like a soft glam not just a natural beat which i don't know what i would really call this whether it would be a soft glam or a natural beat i feel like it's a soft glam like a soft soft glam but then i went in with my lip gloss on top just to give another little pop and yeah this is kind of getting towards the final look i don't think i did nothing else if i did i just did like some just some finishing touch oh i did i tried the one size um setting spray it was good that just just burnt my eyes i was kind of irritated because it burnt for real i'm just dramatic but yeah that was pretty much it and we gonna ignore the lace. I know we see it, but we gonna ignore it because I was just trying to get my video out, okay? It didn't look as bad. But in the end, y'all see kind of like a better view of the makeup. I just wanted, you know, hey, we trying over here, okay? That's the biggest thing. I know y'all know that that lady on TikTok where she was like, she, she not a hairstylist. She just do her kids hair and say point. But yeah, this is how it looks. I was getting ready to take it off. But I feel like for me to be a beginner, this looks really good. So... Make sure, like I said, y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and you come back for more videos. Mwah. She a two decent, scale of one ten, she a ten piece. Usually I'm the one with the groovies. Shorty so bad.